Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my top picks when it comes to body sprays for the springtime. If you missed my most recent video, which was my spring perfumes video, definitely go and check that out. I will link it up here. All of these body sprays pair up with those perfumes really well. So if you wanted to do a little bit of like mixing and layering, then these will be perfect. But I feel like even on their own, these body mists are amazing. And this will be a top 20, unfortunately. I can never do like a low number, especially because I have so much, even a top 20 for me is not much. I am super super confident in my picks because I love all these body sprays to death. They are some of my favorites and they just work honestly they work perfectly all year round but this is like my favorite time to wear them because the spring and the summertime is where these types of scents really really shine and I love them and I cannot wait to share them with you and maybe give you some inspiration. If you own any of these definitely make sure to get them out for the springtime so that you could be smelling your best this spring. And as per usual, I do have a mix of Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret in this video, but I have a lot more Bath & Body Works than Victoria's Secret sprays. I have five Victoria's Secret sprays and the rest is all from Bath & Body Works. With all that being said, before we get into this video, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on. If you wanna see my top 20 body sprays for spring 2022, then just keep watching. All right, let's start off with the body spray that I haven't really talked about much. I think I hauled this in my SAS, like summer SAS, a couple years back or last year, I, I believe. And I think that was the last time I really spoke about it. But I do think that this is a beautiful scent and especially a very beautiful springtime scent. So this body spray is Confetti Daydream. Now, I will say if you have um, Candy Violet Sorbet, I think that's what it's called, from the Summer SAS that came out last year. That, in my opinion, is honestly the repackage of this guy right here. So if you have either, definitely make sure to take them out for the springtime because I think they smell very, very similar to one another. This scent is super pretty. It's very girly. It's very uplifting. It's fresh, but very, very sweet at the same time. This has notes of fresh raspberries, sparkling pear, and blue iris. So it does keep like that fruity, juicy, upbeat scent. It's very fresh and it's not going to weigh you down during the springtime. That raspberry definitely gives us that sugary sweetness that gives it like a really, really girly, really, really pretty vibe. I find this to be a really good mixing type of scent because it's not too complex so I find that it mixes with a lot a lot of sprays. It's a very easy to wear everyday type of scent. You could wear this at any occasion, any time of the day. It just works with everything. So that is Confetti Daydream. The next one is another scent I haven't talked about in a minute but when I bought this scent I was so 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 obsessed with this scent and I still am and I have backups. I've gone through a whole tube of it. So this is the one that I'm currently using right now. And I've already made a pretty decent dent into this. It's like right about here right now. This is Kaleidoscope. This is such a unique type of set and the notes in here are not listed in the back and I cannot find them for the life of me. If you guys are familiar with Glossier U, this is kind of said to be a very good dupe of it. And I do not own Glossier U, but honestly, I am very much looking into placing an order because I'm so obsessed with this. And basically that set is kind of like a musky everyday set, but people always say that that is such a complimented scent because it is so fresh and nonchalant and it's kind of like a scent that kind of adapts to your skin so it ends up kind of smelling different on everybody but in a really good way generally it kind of has like a musky woody feel and that's why i really really love it because if you know me, you know how obsessed I am with woody type of scents and this just gives me all the woody vibes. There's kind of like a hint of sweetness in here, but it's overall very, very fresh in a very complex, very unique way that when you smell it, you're just like enamored by it. Like it's just, I think I'm actually going to wear this today. <laughs> oh yeah, this is going to be my scent of the day today. I love this stuff. Like this is just it's magic in a bottle. I really can't describe this. It's a scent that you have to just smell for yourself because it's gonna probably end up smelling different on you than it is on me, but it's absolutely stunning. So that is Kaleidoscope. Right. Next spring scent, very, very fitting for the springtime. This is Cactus Blossom. Cactus Blossom is a perfume. This scent is so strong. Oh, it smells so, 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 so good. By the way, another thing that I will say is a lot of the scents that I picked for this video are body sprays that last really, really well. Unless I say otherwise, they last on me for a very long time. Like, Kaleidoscope lasts on me forever. Confetti Daydream is like 
kind of like a mediocre uh, longevity. And then this guy right here will stay on you like a freaking perfume. It'll stick to you. This has fragrance notes of cactus flower petals, sunkissed coconut, and fresh sparkling lemon. This kind of, it kind of reminds me, but I wouldn't say that this is a dupe, of Viva La Juicy, like slightly. Like there's a hint of it that reminds me of it in here because it's very, very girly and it has like that same sweetness that is in Viva La Juicy. But this one is like almost more complex, I would even say. I don't know how to describe this, but I really, really enjoy it. It's a very feminine scent. I can definitely smell like a hint of that coconut, but not so much in like a coconutty, beachy type of way. It just kind of adds a little creamy element to this because otherwise this would be a very more so like fresher scent and that coconut really rounds things out in here and the cactus flower petals just kind of give it like that pink vibe this is definitely very true to the packaging like when you smell it it smells like the color pink because so that is cactus blossom right, this next scent is an og scent this body spray just takes me all the way back i'm pretty sure that this is probably one of my very first body sprays that i ever owned from bath and body works obviously not this exact one but this scent this is paris amore but i have been in love with paris amore since i was about 13 years old and i'm literally about to turn 23 in two weeks April 7, mark your calendars. <laughs> Just kidding, but I'm very excited about it. Anyways, needless to say, I'm absolutely obsessed with this scent. I remember when I used to wear this like freshman year of high school, everyone would compliment me on it. Every time I would spray it, I used to have a little spray of it in my backpack. I used to have one at home. I used to wear this scent all the time. This is another scent that pretty much smells like the color pink, but in much more of a softer way. Like while Cactus Blossom is... I want to say it's like the most mature scent out there but there's like a sexy element to it paris amore is kind of like what it sounds like it's a very sweet scent it's a very innocent scent there's kind of like a flirty vibe to it it's so soft and it's so sweet but it has like a freshness to it it almost kind of gives me like a really good like pink shampoo pink body wash type of vibes in the springtime this is absolutely stunning. This is a scent that you just like throw in your bag and you just spray throughout the day to just kind of like refresh and you're gonna smell good. Definitely not the most complex scent out there, but it's 100% a scent that you spray and you're gonna be getting asked like, what did you just spray? It smells so good because I don't think anybody can deny how good this smells. If you guys know of any perfumes that smell like Paris Amore, definitely make sure to leave them in the description box because I will forever search for a perfume that smells like this because I'm just absolutely in love with the scent of Paris Amore. This next scent is another like OG, I grew up with this scent, but I still cannot put it down to this day. Like 10 years later, I'm still just as in love with this scent and that is Velvet Sugar. This scent, it's it's like femininity in a bottle. It's very sweet. Obviously, it's called Velvet Sugar. It's like sugar overload, but in a really good way. Like think of the scent of pink sugar, like that straight up cotton candy scent, but mix it with like a raspberry note or a pomegranate note, kind of like something that will still give it a sweetness, but more so from like a fruity aspect than like just, just sugar. That's exactly what this scent smells like to me. And this is another one where I think this is an old packaging. So the notes are not in here, but I can almost swear that there's some type of berry note in here, whether that's raspberry, pomegranate, something mixed with like a heavy sugar scent. And this is another scent. I know I keep saying that and I feel like I have a few other scents that smell like the color pink in this video, but this straight up smells like the color pink. Pair this scent up with pink sugar and you are going to have people fall in love with you. I swear this is a scent that is like a magnet it kind of like reminds me slightly of pink velvet cupcake slightly but it, there's definitely a lot of differences to this one it's not like screechy or too much like pink sugar from aquilina can sometimes be that is just like a very wearable sugar like scent if you love sweet scents i mean you need that in your collection. And by the way, I know I'm showing a lot of like sweeter scents in this video. And I know that sweeter, like, like super, super sugary scents don't do that well in the spring and summertime just because it can kind of be too much mixed with like the heat. But all of the scents that I have in this video are sweet scents that equally have like a 
freshness or like a fruity vibe to them that kind of uplifts them so they're not going to be scents that you're going to wear and it's going to like suffocate you in scent so i just wanted to clarify that because i do have a lot of like sweeter scents in this video speaking of a sweet slash fresh scent i would honestly say that this is more so a fresh scent than anything this is pink tie-dye this also came out oh my god this is literally a red like a bright red apple that you just bit into just literally smell that that's exactly what this smells like nothing else it smells like a juicy ripe apple that you just bit into this is pink lady apple water lotus and cotton blossom i mean i guess that water lotus gives it like even more of a fresher feel but this straight up i mean this is the most realistic body spray that i have in my entire collection because this straight up smells like a freshly bitten apple like if you've ever had an apple in your life then you know the scent of this but it's so refreshing and so pretty and it has like a little bit of like that sweet vibe because apples are kind of sweet i have found this to be a really nice mixing scent to mix with a lot of my perfumes if i want to just give them a little bit of a fresher feel and i want to add like a little apple note to them this is the scent that i mix and it's always just so perfect because it's not too complex like i said it literally just smells like an apple and nothing else so you can do a lot with it so that is pink tie dye this next scent is a scent that i almost didn't want to include this because i felt like this would be like a duh kind of scent it's literally it's like spraying through up in this bottle but this is fairy tale fairy tale like the packaging of fairy tale screams spring in my opinion it literally just has florals all around and it's very green but fairy tale i thought would be absolutely perfect for the springtime this would be perfect oh, it smells so nice this is perfect for like a spring date night i would say this is more so like a sexier feminine type of scent like it doesn't have that super body spray like quality it almost has like a perfumey vibe to it which is why this scent has been time and time again compared to ysl libre 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 oh i always struggle so much with saying that name but, but you know what i'm talking about this scent smells exactly like that perfume which i also really love the only difference between the two is that obviously libre it's a lot more intense in every single way this one's basically kind of like a little bit more of like a watered down version of that perfume this has pomegranate nectar fresh orange blossom vanilla bean and warm amber i think those notes pretty much explain this to a t like it's very very true to the notes there's kind of like a fruity vibe to it it does have a little bit of floral vibe to it and then it does have like a creamy sweetness kind of in the base and it's a really really beautiful feminine scent and i do definitely think this packaging is very fitting for this type of scent because it kind of almost gives me like a green vibe like it kind of smells like the color green it definitely smells like a perfume this one is very high end smelling and it's a scent that definitely lasts like a perfume so that is fairy tale this next scent i had to include because this is one of my absolute favorite scents that came out of the uh summer sas of last year this is champagne sprinkles now take this scent with a grain of salt if you do not love super sugary sweet scents this is a no-go because this straight up smells like sprinkles it's called champagne sprinkles and it straight up smells like sprinkles this is exactly what you would get if you took champagne and you submerged sprinkles into it and all the sprinkles and like the sweetness of the sprinkles like soaked up the champagne this is exactly what you get but i almost smell more sprinkles in here than i smell champagne this scent reminds me of something that i had in my childhood like a barbie doll or something i'm not really sure but it smells literally like the color pink like this could not be more like the color pink i know that a lot of the other ones that i said smell like the color pink but this is like this is pink and the packaging of it is so spot on this is notes of sparkling champagne raspberry icing and rainbow sprinkles i am absolutely in love with this scent when i bought this scent i literally bought like three of the body sprays i bought the lotion and i wear this scent all the time i always get compliments this is a scent that is not super mature. I mean, obviously, you're not going to smell super mature if you're going to smell like sprinkles. But if you like sweet scents and you like to smell like sweet, girly sugariness, this is it. Another really good scent to pair up with pink sugar. But just be warned that it might be a little sugar overload. So you might want to like 
take it down a notch you might not want to like go crazy because this is another scent that really projects but this is a good one like this is amazing and although it is very sweet i feel like because of that champagne aspect it doesn't really let this weigh you down too too much because it still kind of has that champagne effervescent sort of quality to it you're gonna be smelling like a snack like a birthday cake type of scent i mean i love champagne sprinkles it's one of my all-time favorite scents the next scent is also a classic this is i don't know if they discontinued this scent because i feel like i haven't seen it when i've gone to bath and body works like lately because i know that this was in like their core line because they had this like on the sidewalls with the products that just kind of like were there all year but i'm pretty sure i haven't seen this lately let me know if you guys think that they discontinued this this is dahlia dahlia is a stunning stunning scent dahlia smells pretty much almost identical to carolina herrera good girl the scent with the heel this guy right here these two are like a match made in heaven to pair up because they smell so similar to one another this is kind of like along the same lines like fairy tale is in comparison to ysl libra like this is just a little bit more watered down obviously it's a body spray it doesn't have like the oil concentration that the eau de parfum has so the same thing kind of goes for this one in comparison to good girl it's just like slightly more watered down not as intense but the scent is overall the same this is velvet dahlia petals crisp pear praline musk and whipped and whipped and whipped tonka bean so it's got some florals it's got sweetness it's got fruitiness and then it also has that um tonka which gives it kind of like a sweeter feel in the base it reminds me so much of good girl like they are one in the same if you love good girl but you want a cheaper alternative dahlia is the way to go and this is a stunning springtime scent honestly all year round scent but especially in the spring like there's flowers like freaking all over it but it's not a floral scent if you don't like floral scents then this is definitely a safe bet because i mean there's florals in it but it's very very feminine it's not like in your face type of florals it's very very modern like and very pretty so that is dahlia the next scent is little black party dress i honestly consider this an all-year-round scent but i thought it would be especially fitting for springtime because oh, it smells so nice I always kind of go back and forth with this scent. I definitely like it. I just don't know if I love it. But honestly, lately I've been kind of leaning more on loving it because I've been wearing it a lot lately. And this is another scent that performs like a perfume. And it actually smells like a perfume. It smells like the original Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo perfume, the Eau de Parfum version. This is heavy on that patchouli. But it's like very creamy patchouli and it kind of like threw me off when I first bought this scent. But this is a scent that you have to spray out because it is kind of like a fruit chuli, but in a really good way. I think because it is a body spray and not a perfume, that patchouli doesn't really stand out as much as it would in a perfume. Which is kind of like a pro in this case because it kind of sweetens it out so it's not like so in your face if you don't like patchouli scents. So this is Frosted Nectarine, Black Peony, and White Patchouli. So it's kind of floral. It has a little bit of fresh fruitiness to it in the beginning. And then that white patchouli kind of rounds all those things out. This is a very flirty, sexy type of scent. This is a scent that I wouldn't consider like your typical body spray type scent. Because it smells like a high-end perfume. It gives you that vibe. And you're going to smell like money when you wear this. Like you spray this out nobody nobody in the world will be able to think that you're wearing a body spray instead of a perfume that is little black party dress this is the perfect name for it it's literally a scent that is perfectly worn with like a little black party dress it gives you that vibe when this next scent is a scent that i kind of debated if i wanted to include in this video because i feel like i included in every single one of my bath and body works videos but I mean, this will be included in my spring scents, in my winter scents, in any type of Bath & Body Works scents that I do. I just always have to include it because this is one of my, like, all-time favorite Bath & Body Works sprays, like, all of all time. I love this scent. I want to just douse myself in this scent for the rest of my life. This is Be Enchanted. I love this. You guys know how obsessed I am with pomegranate scents, and this is pomegranate on crack this is iced pomegranate sugared petals chilled passion fruit whipped vanilla and light musk it just has everything it's so berry like but it's also very sweet it's very fruity it has kind of a slight floral aspect but i would mainly say that this is a fruity sweet type of scent 
It almost has like a sugary scent. This falls in the same family as black raspberry vanilla. It kind of falls in the same family as even velvet sugar, which I really love as well. Like it kind of has that velvet sugary, sugary type of scent, but with a lot of berry-like notes with that pomegranate added into it. Such a pretty feminine scent. Not exactly sexy, but definitely flirty and just a top tier scent. I mean, I love be enchanted i'm so glad i picked up like multiple bottles of it when i found it at the summer essayist last year because that is just a scent that will be in my collection till the end of the, the next one i'm going to briefly talk about because i also feel like i've talked about this a lot this is you're the one perfect springtime scent because this literally smells like roses and coming from somebody that hates like heavy rose scents i, I don't want to say i hate all rose because there's definitely some perfumes that have rose in them that i love but this is like a lot of rose. This kind of smells like a scent that would be put out by like Miss Dior, by the Miss Dior range. It's very heavy on that rose, but it also has a little bit of like a strawberry scent to it, which gives kind of like a sweet kick to that rose. And although it's very rosy, I mean, this could borderline be a little bit mature, but I do find this overall like a modern rose kind of scent. This is white birch velvety rose and a drop of strawberry nectar. That drop of strawberry nectar in here for me, I think makes all the difference because if it was just rose, it would just be a little, a little too much. And that drop of strawberry nectar gives it just that little hint of sweetness that it definitely needs. And every single time I've worn this scent, I have gotten multiple compliments like not just one but multiple compliments people always flock to me and tell me like what am i wearing it smells really good this is another like top performer body mist where it performs like a perfume it literally lasts you an entire day it's a strong scent so you only need a few spritz and it'll last you and it's very potent so be careful with how crazy you go with this one the scent that i'm pretty sure you can get all year round at least I hope so. I don't know if they've taken this one down. This is You're the One. Another pink-like scent. This is Pink Velvet Cupcake, which again, smells pink. This reminds me a lot, honestly, of Velvet Sugar. Although this is called Pink Velvet Cupcake, I feel like it could be kind of misleading because you might think that this would be a very gourmand-like scent because of the cupcake in the title. This is not a cakey type of scent. It really doesn't give off any sort of gourmand feel. I mean, there is kind of like slightly because it is so sweet, but there's a freshness to it that is coming from those red berries that are in here. So it definitely uplifts this. And I wouldn't say that this is a cupcake scent at all. This is sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugared praline. It's creamy, it's fresh, it's berries, it's sugary. Oh, it's so good. It's like mouth-watering. This is the older packaging of it, but they have since redone it. So I'm pretty sure you can get it now. I think it's in like this like faceted packaging now if i'm not mistaken but i'm pretty sure that this is still available so definitely get your hands on this while you can if you love sweet scents this is just a need so that is pink velvet cup okay we're getting down to the last two scents so this one is raspberry chiffon i decided to include this instead of pink chiffon because although i also really love pink chiffon and in my opinion they smell very very similar to one another i'm not really sure about the notes in pink chiffon i don't know if pink chiffon has any sort of like raspberry notes. Um, pink chiffon to me smells very girly. And again, like a pink type of scent. And this one also, but that raspberry really kind of gives it more of like a fruity vibe. Whereas pink chiffon is a lot sweeter, I feel like. This is still very sweet, but this is like that sweetness from pink chiffon, but added that fruity vibe, which gives it a little bit of like a fresh type of scent. So this is black raspberry, iced pear, and whipped sugar. So it's very sugary sweet the pear also really uplifts this and gives it a tiny bit of like a fresher vibe but this is overall a very very fruity scent it's very pretty and again a very wearable easy to wear in the summer and springtime sweet type of scent that is not going to suffocate you it's just a really pretty girly flirty type of scent and then the very last scent that i have for bath and body works is one of my all-time favorites this is black raspberry vanilla so again this kind of falls within the same category as a lot of these scents that i showed you obviously these are scents that i wear so i'm obviously showing you what i'm gonna be wearing this 
the springtime because this is like scents that I have in my collection. So I know that a lot of these kind of fall in the same type of category. I don't think that any of the scents that I showed you in this video smell alike. They all differ, but they have similar notes because those are the notes that I go for. So black raspberry vanilla has notes of fresh raspberries, vine ripened blackberries, vanilla orchid, and creamy sandalwood. This is a stunning blackberry scent. Like I'm talking about you go to a blackberry bush and you smell it. That's exactly what this smells like. This smells like raspberries, like blackberries. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but this smells exactly like the um, Har Haribo uh, raspberry little uh, gummies like that look like this. Smells identical to that. This is the reformulated black raspberry vanilla. I do own the older version, which I find to be slightly a bit more sweet. Whereas this version, I do find that it has a hint of greenness. It's still overall like 99% the same, but it has like just a hint of greenness. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's the vine ripened blackberries. I feel like I can almost smell like a little bit of like the vine, the green vine mixed with like the raspberries too. So it just has like that slightly hint of a green scent. I absolutely love black raspberry vanilla. It's again, one of my like all time favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. Now let's get into my top five um, Victoria's Secret scents that I think I will be wearing this fall. Not fall, spring. So obviously, I think one of my most worn all the time is Velvet Petals, but don't worry, I did not include that because of how much I talk about it. I think you guys get it at this point. I love that scent. And of course, that's a beautiful springtime scent. But I did not include that for the sake of just not being repetitive. I feel like I talk about it too much. So the first scent that I'm going to talk about that I haven't talked about in a minute that is just a gem of a body spray, this is Midnight Bloom. So Midnight Bloom is a scent that has vibes to Baccarat Rouge. I almost feel like they could be exact dupes for one another. I used to wear this at work a while back and I used to always get compliments. This scent is stunning. This is Moonflower and Creamy Woods. So it has like that woody feel of Baccarat Rouge. It has like that strange ozonic vibe. It definitely has sweetness to it. I was gonna include In The Stars from Bath & Body Works, which you guys know I, I also really love. But again, because I've talked about that scent for so long, I decided to do something different. And Midnight Bloom is like different, but the same. This is like Victoria's Secret's version of In The Stars. But I do feel like In The Stars slightly lean a little bit on like the masculine side. Like it has kind of like a cologne scent to it. Whereas this one is a little bit sweeter. So take that as you will. I know a lot of people don't like In The Stars for that reason. So maybe try this one as an alternative. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent, and I'm pretty sure it's kind of like a permanent scent because I'm pretty sure I've seen it there recently. So that is Midnight Bloom, a perfect springtime, like spring night, brunch time, I don't know, just going out type of scent. The next scent, of course, I didn't include Velvet Petals in this video, but I had to include a flanker. This is Velvet Petals Untamed. I feel like this is almost as if you mixed in the stars with Velvet Petals, which is like, again, two of my favorite babies, like freaking had a baby. It gives me like that vibe a little bit. It's kind of like Velvet Petals, but a little bit woodier, which gives it much more of a sexier vibe. Like whereas Velvet Petals is a little bit more like girly, flirty, pretty and innocent. This one has a little bit of like a sex appeal to it. It's a lot more seductive and a little bit darker. This is Luscious Almond and Moonlit Woods. So it's overall like that same creamy sweetness that Velvet Petals has, but that Woods is really kind of kicking it up a notch and it gives this like a lot more of like a sexy vibe and I love that. The next one we have is Love Spell La Creme. Pretty much the whole La Creme collection is amazing, especially for springtime, but of course I only had to pick one. And I know for somebody like me that doesn't like the original Love Spell, it's kind of crazy that I'm mentioning a Love Spell flanker but honestly I feel like they do the love spell flankers really well to the point where they don't smell like love spell anymore which I can appreciate since I don't love love spell this is peach blossom and cashmere woods again I feel like all these scents have like woods in it and any scent that has a woody vibe I'm just all for this is a lot less screechy than love spell it kind of has a hint of the love spell scent in it but instead of like apricot which love spell has this has peach blossom which is like i mean the same but different you know but again 
that woodsiness in here just really really amps this up and gives it a little bit of like a sexier vibe i don't know why this is called la creme or honestly why a lot of the la creme scents are called la creme because i don't find them creamier at all there's nothing really creamy about it it's just like really good i don't know the next one is a scent that i raved about when this came out and i literally wanted to buy like 25 bottles of this stuff but i held myself and i bought like two or three this is pure seduction crystal i cannot even begin to explain how much i love the scent of this oh my god i don't know how to describe it i feel like it almost has like an almondy vibe like almond mixed with pear it is so good and it's a very unique scent like i feel like i've never smelled anything like this before this is ruby pear and violet orchid i don't really smell any florals in here i smell like a very sugary type of scent it almost smells like melon to me it's a really really stunning scent i love this scent like so much when it first came out i was obsessed with it and i always find myself spraying this <sighs> so then the very last scent is a scent that i kind of wear all year round but of course i'm going to be wearing in the springtime bare vanilla need i say more this is like my second or third bottle of this and i've already made a little like dent in it bare vanilla is with vanilla and soft cashmere this is not your typical vanilla scent bare vanilla is like a sexy vanilla it's more mature vanilla this doesn't smell like a vanilla that you get from the vanilla extract on your cupboard you know what i mean like it is more woody and it's more sexy and it's so 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 intoxicating and like captivating it's a little bit darker but just that like woody cashmere vibe to it is just stunning it almost has like a smoky sort of a vibe to it which gives it like that really really sexy type of smell that smells very high-end i think this is a gorgeous scent that i think if they made a perfume out of this i think that it would be like their best seller ever Air vanilla is just a classic right. so that is it for this gigantic video i hope you guys like this video i hope you liked my top spring picks when it comes to body sprays let me know what you guys think let me know your favorite springtime body sprays that you're going to be wearing this spring but that is it for me today please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you guys in my next video bye